Catalyst.io. Hello everyone and welcome back or welcome to my channel and of course to Vlogmas Day 8. It's me, Lauren. So, uh, today has been a working day for us, working back at home. Um, we got home at about one o'clock this morning from the party that we went to yesterday. We just decided to go straight from the party um, and head straight home so that we were here to wake up this morning and work and things like that. Um, so yeah, bless my boyfriend didn't drink um, so that he could drive us back home. Um, I wish the same could be said about me because there was a lot of champagne and they just kept topping up our glasses. Um, so yeah, it took a little while to come round this morning. Um, but we've just been working. I've caught up on quite a few bits today. Um, later this evening, once I um, have finished work, I will be nipping to Tesco to pick up a click and collect order. Um, I am so hungry today. I didn't really get chance to eat properly yesterday just with going here there and th everywhere um so I did a carbonara for our lunch today and I'm looking to do something quite hearty and wholesome for our dinner tonight as well just to make up for that um the party was absolutely fantastic as I said they just kept filling up our champagne glasses and had I not been working today um I could have stayed a lot longer um, but I was trying to be as sensible as I could. Um, there was canapes at the party, but I couldn't eat a lot of them just because I'm gluten intolerant, so I had to watch what I was eating. Um, so yeah, that made that's made me really hungry today, so I need to make up for it. Um, and then after that, once I'm back and I've done dinner, I would quite like to film on this vlog um what I've made in November just so that you're all up to date as to where I'm at um I keep meaning to film it and then forgetting it um by the time I'm coming to edit the video um or I haven't been at home and things like that so I'd quite like to get that done today um and talk you through my next make actually um I've got a big make that I'd like to do this week is it going to be possible? Probably not because I think I'm only going to have tomorrow evening to do it so we'll see. Um, but yeah then I will be, well I would have already been up out and back by the time you see this video but in the morning I'll be up about half five quarter to six to do a canny cross run in me. So yeah I need to make sure that I have an early night tonight to make sure that the last two nights uh, of shorter than normal sleep don't catch up on me too badly. I will catch up with you in a bit when I finish work. Just wanted to show you quickly a lovely little hamper that's just arrived from work for Christmas. Um, so we have a reusable hot and cold flask, a little can of pop, some fizzy sweets, some hazelnut praline meringues, chocolate orange popcorn and a space mask uh, heating eye mask which is be going to be lovely. Um, but yeah I just thought I'd show you because it's really cute um, and it's from Meet the Happy Co. Um, but yeah really nice hamper of things that I would actually eat, drink and use. Hello, good evening everyone. Um, so, a bit of a change of scenery for you today. I'm just in my bedroom at the moment. Um, I've been out and done the food shop. I have cooked dinner. Um, we had a lovely korma. Um, I make all of my curries from scratch using a base gravy method. Um, and I will pop a link in the description box below of the cookbook that I use because it's absolutely beautiful. It basically replicates um, your British Indian restaurant recipes um, and yeah really yummy, really good for when the weather's like this and it's cold and it's miserable outside, um, something nice and hearty to warm you up. Um, I also cooked myself some chicken and vegetables for my lunch tomorrow um, and I popped a couple of extra veggies in there as well um, just to add to my dog's dinners. Um, but tonight I just wanted to hop on quickly and show you some of the, well all of the makes that I made in November um, and then I'm gonna have an early night and go to bed. It's currently five to nine so having an early night tonight. My first make that I made was a Tabitha t-shirt from the Tilly and the Buttons Make It Simple book I believe. 
Um, so it's just a size three Tabitha t-shirt. The fabric is a gray and mustard, primarily leopard print. Um, absolutely lovely t-shirt, fits perfectly. I knew that a size three fits me with Tilly anyway. And I did make this t-shirt as a bit of a uh, like pajama t-shirt back last year, um, but with awful fabric. So it just didn't wash well at all. So I don't have it anymore. Um, but yeah, went together really well. I only had half a metre, so it's quite cropped, but that's fine for me because I only want to wear it underneath like sort of dungarees and things anyway. So the length didn't matter too much. Um, the fabric was from Material Girl Laura uh, when she used to have a shop. Sadly, she doesn't anymore. Um, but yeah, I just grabbed half a metre. I think it might have been a bit of a remnant piece or something. Um, but it's lovely fabric and um, I really enjoy wearing this one. On the inside I used a piece of ribbon to um, I think like stabilise the shoulder pieces to stop them from stretching and this ribbon we actually got in a So Haley Jane box a couple of months ago so it looks like a dressmaker's measuring tape um, but yeah, I thought that, that was a nice little feature in there. And as I said, I've worn this one and I really like it. It's really soft fabric. My second make of the month was actually a fail and it isn't wearable. Um, but it was this gorgeous fabric from Flamingo Fabrics. And I picked it up when I went to the craft show at the NEC uh, last month, uh, beginning of last month. And yeah, I picked up half a metre Unfortunately, the rotary cutter, I slipped with it when I was cutting out the back bodice piece, so I had to make it more narrow and then it didn't fit. So yeah, not a wearable one, um, but I will be rebuying this fabric if they get it in or if they've still got it in um, because I absolutely love it. I think it's so lovely um, and it's definitely something I would wear, but unfortunately, I just can't wear this one at the moment it just doesn't fit and the neck comes up really high and because it's a directional print as well with the sewing machines and everything um i didn't have enough of the fabric left to sort of recut it or anything like that so yeah it's a shame but i'm saving it because i will reuse it for something i'll reuse the fabric for something i'm just not sure what yet okay so the next one is one that you may have seen before, more than likely would have seen before because I've shown it on here and Instagram. And it's, if I didn't say by the way, that this t-shirt here is exactly the same as the one before, is a Tabitha t-shirt and it should have been size three um, before I had to hack it. But yeah, so this one is Tilly and the Buttons again. Um, it's the Sophia Wrap Play suit, but I hacked it so that the trousers are full leg length. Um, it's with this gorgeous sequin fabric. Um, I added slits up the side of the trousers. Um, and yeah, I'm sure you've all seen this one before, so I won't go too much into it. Um, but I love it. Um, I've worn it out and yeah, got lots of compliments on it. So it's just a nice jazzy thing to have in the wardrobe. And similar, I made that in a size three as well, actually. Um, and similarly, I also made it in this gorgeous fabric. I'm going to insert some pictures of this one because um, it's hard to see otherwise. This gorgeous fabric, which was from So Haley Jane, um, and again, it was exactly the same pattern as I used for the sequin one. So the Sophia wrap play suit um, with the Sophia trouser full length option on the bottom, elastic in the waistband. I haven't worn this one yet and I haven't cut the threads either. I'm really bad at remembering to do that once I finished a garment. Um, but yeah, absolutely love this, um, jumpsuit. With this one, I, as I said, I made a size three. Um, the first time that I went to cut it, I realised that I didn't quite have enough fabric. There was only, it was ever so slightly too narrow when I was cutting it out. Um, but I thought that's fine because the trousers are quite oversized anyway. So uh, I've got that bit of wiggle room. Unfortunately, I didn't and the trousers were far too small when it all came together. Um, so I had a bit of a sulk about it, put it down for that evening. Um, looked on 
Haley's website um, on the outlet shop and there wasn't any of the fabric available so I thought oh, what am I going to do um, I'd put something on Instagram about it and Haley actually very kindly got in touch and said that she did have some more of that fabric but it was before she'd updated the outlet shop um, so yeah thank goodness Haley came to the rescue and sent me some more fabric very very kindly um, and I managed to finish it and I absolutely love it. I will say when this fabric first arrived um, in my So Haley Jane box, I think it was August or September, um, when I first opened the box I thought, oh, oh, I'm not really sure about that because it isn't something that I would pick, but actually when I started putting this outfit together, um, and certainly now that it's made, I absolutely love it. Um, I think it's so lovely and it's so jazzy and it could be dressed up or down. I think it's just absolutely fabulous. And this was actually my second option yesterday for the party. Um, if my dress didn't fit, because it was more of a cocktail type dress that I had, um, if that didn't fit, then this was going to be my second option. Um, yeah, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So thank you very much, Hayley. And this is such a benefit is of getting the So Hayley Jane boxes because I would never have bought this fabric if I'd seen it just in a fabric shop. Um, but the fact that, you know, Hayley picked it, she has incredible taste anyway for fabrics. Um, it pushed me out of my comfort zone to make it. And now I have a garment that I absolutely love and I think is absolutely stunning. So yeah. There's a benefit to the So Haley Jane boxes. If you need to sell it to yourself to justify buying it, there's your reason. <laughs> and then the last uh, garment that I made was another Tilly in the Buttons. So it's a, been a Tilly in the Buttons month this month. That's all I've made. Um, but it's a, the Stella hoodie, which I will get a picture of and put on my Instagram. Um, but I'm planning on making the joggers as well. And I haven't actually fully finished this one yet. So that's why I haven't got a picture of it. Um, but yeah, it's the Stella hoodie in a size 3. In this gorgeous floral fabric from Flamingo Fabrics. Um, I used primarily the overlocker to make this one. And you may be able to see there that the overlocked edge is just that at the moment it's an overlocked edge and I haven't actually finished the bottom um which I need to do so I haven't worn it yet either for that reason um because I haven't quite finished it but it's a lovely hoodie and I'm looking forward to having it in my wardrobe because I think I will pull it out and wear it a lot um and I'm going to make matching joggers as well I've cut them out I just need to sew them up now um, but yeah, the fabric is pound fabrics and I think it's so pretty, it's so feminine, um, which will, I think, really change the way that the hoodie and joggers look. Um, I will only intend on wearing them sort of around the house as loungewear anyway, but I just like to wear something that's a bit pretty, even if it is just loungewear. Um, doesn't make you feel as frumpy. And something that I love that I've really found with Tilly um, is you always have a lovely curve in her tops. Um, and you can really see that in this hoodie, which I think just makes you feel not so frumpy in a hoodie. She says wearing a massive oversized jumper, but here we are. Sometimes you don't want to wear oversized stuff. Um, but yeah, so that was a real success. I didn't put the, uh, the pocket on the front. You do have an option to do a kangaroo pocket. Um, but I don't actually like that because I always put my phone in them if I have a kangaroo pocket in a hoodie. Um, and then it sort of drags it down, it pulls it down. So I didn't want to do this one, that with this one. Um, I wanted to keep it nice. So I didn't put a pocket in there because I knew I would ruin it by doing so. But yeah, really pleased with that one. Um, of course, I also made my sister uh, her Frankie baseball t-shirt, um, which I'm still waiting to get a picture of her in. Um, but if you watch back to, I think it was Vlogmas Day 1, wasn't it? Um, then I show you the t-shirt there that I made, um, the pink leopard one. Uh, I made that in a size 8 and it, yeah, fits her absolutely lovely. I'm really pleased with that one too. Um, so that's been my my month, makes of the month. Um, they've all been Tilly and the Buttons and as I said, that, that completely wasn't planned that they were all Tilly and the Buttons. They're obviously just the patterns that I gravitate towards. Um, 
so yeah I'm really pleased with all of them bar one which was this one where I slipped with the rotary cutter um, they're all wearable um, which is a success in my eyes um, particularly the one that I made for my sister because it's quite a big thing I don't know if you find it as well but it's quite a big thing making something for someone else even though she didn't know that I was making it so there was no real pressure um, apart from it was her birthday present of course so I needed to give her something um, but yeah it's that all oh, will it fit will they like it all of those things so yeah I do class this month as a real success I think I've got some really good pieces that are going to stay in my wardrobe for a very long time um, and get plenty of wear which obviously is my goal um, I have my whiteboard at the moment which I think has got about 14 items on it um, of things that I want to make and these are all part of those as well so I've ticked a few off now um, but I'm going to continue going through them. Um, one of the things that I'd like to make next is this onesie pattern. I'll insert a picture of it here. Um, but I'm actually going to tweak it slightly. So it isn't going to be a onesie for wearing around the house. I'm actually using this pattern to create something that I want for outside of the house. So I saw these coats. I'll insert a picture again. Um, probably about a year or so ago now, um, a dog trainer that I know uh, has one and I thought what an absolutely fabulous idea. So this is not, in my opinion, the height of fashion, but it's practical. I love going out on a cold winter's day for a dog walk, but I hate being cold. So what I'm intending to do is make the onesie but out of quilted sort of waterproof coat material. So I do already have the waterproof coat material um, and I'm gonna use the onesie as a base for creating the coat. So I will vlog it. I will take you along on the journey with me to see if it actually works because I don't know that it will. Um, the fabric that I bought was 5.99 a meter from my local fabric shop. Um, it's 160 centimetres wide he said, he said it's extra extra wide um, which that's just incredible value for money um, so I did buy four metres of it which is more than what it says that you need um, for the pattern but I just want a bit of wiggle room with it and also if I have any left over at the end then I want to make my dogs some matching coats as well <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's my next big project to get ready for the winter, um, is a onesie coat. I mean, height of fashion, that's me. Um, <laughs> but I'll be happy in winter when I'm warm, so I won't care what I look like. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to leave that one here for today. Uh, thank you so much for all continuing to watch it. Uh, my vlogmases and leaving lovely comments. Um, I had a quick catch up earlier today on my comments because I know I was a day or two behind just from traveling and everything like that. Um, but yeah, thank you so much because I do appreciate receiving your comments and even if I don't reply exactly sort of when I read them, I do always go back and try to respond to everybody um, and I at least read them, um, which yeah, is so lovely. It is so nice to have you all watching my videos um but yeah so thank you very much for watching today um i'm gonna pop into bed and edit this one now and i will catch up with you tomorrow thank you for watching speak to you later Bye bye